Today we're looking at some of the funniest moments caught on live TV. These are some of my favorite types of videos to film because these people genuinely forgot they were live. Pokemon Go Away. When Pokemon Go hit the gaming scene in 2016, it became hugely popular. Fun fact, I wasn't actually allowed to download that game because my mom thought that I was literally gonna be on my phone and run out. I swear people also made a conspiracy theory that like pedophiles used it like kidnap kids. That genuinely sounds like something out of a murder mystery. It also created quite a few problems for players who lost track of their surroundings. The Pokemon Go craze is affecting everyone, even news reporters. Oh, don't tell me these news reporters literally stopped their live on air show to like catch a Pokemon. It's actually quite crazy how big that game was, wasn't it? This is a lesson Allison Croft, an anchor for WTSP in Florida, learned on live TV. While engrossed in tracking down her favorite Pokemon, she walked right in front of weatherman Bobby Deskins. Say Pete right now. Got a Pokemon? I'm sorry, what? So she literally was just on her phone walking around the studio. Are they even allowed in their phones? I swear you're like not allowed to do that. I mean, I guess everyone at one point gets distracted at work. You guys gotta be careful with these phones and this Pokemon. You're just walking around all over the place. Exactly, and that's the exact reason why I wasn't allowed to game. Probably because I would walk out in front of the car. He was in the middle of his daily forecast and was completely stunned by her oblivious walkthrough. Later, Croft posted the video on her Facebook page with the caption, quote, that moment you realize you may be addicted to Pokemon Go. I mean, to be fair, that's literally me of Candy Crush and Coin Master. Like, I'm telling you right now, I am the master of Coin Master. If you have that game, you'll understand me, but people always attack my villages. I feel like I'm purposely getting targeted. On the air overshare. Most embarrassing incidents on live TV are due to a brief moment of inattention. These are quickly fixed and the program continues. I'm just going to move back to the uh, main set. I know this has happened before. I mean, that happens a lot with the BBC, especially in, like, that studio. I feel like they always have, like, the wrong camera on. Here's a mini conspiracy theory. Do you think they do it on purpose? I mean, let's be realistic. If they always have mini fails, they can boost them online and make, like, the show viral. I might get them more viewers. One incident at ITV Anglia in England went on for quite a bit longer. Host Emma Baker was casually chatting with people in the studio while tidying her clothes and hair. You would think that, like, someone would literally give her a wave or, like, a light would flash on to say, you know, you're live in air. I mean, if I ran a new studio, which is never going to happen, I'd probably have like a green light for on air and a red light for off air. And then like an amber light for get ready, it's coming. I mean, I wonder what they're talking about. Imagine they were like proper gossip and they're chatting crap about someone. Nobody seemed to notice that the preparation she believed to be off camera was actually live to viewers. I wonder what her reaction is going to be. Like, how could you react? I mean, I have seen clips where people have like proper freaked out and then they just like got straight into it. I mean, you do have to keep it professional. Morning, Mrs. Seamus. Oh. Who is it then? That is me just even worse touching my hair. attention to the comments Emma made towards an off-screen colleague. Oh my god, what did she say to the off-screen colleague? Also, imagine what the viewers at home are thinking. I'm a bit of a weirdo, so I love watching the news. Like, I'll just put Sky News on and watch it 24-7. I don't know why. Imagine what they're thinking. Like, imagine she literally farts. She asked if the woman in his story was his wife or another woman he spent too much time with. Is this your wife or, um, Jan? Because you're always talking to her. I love how she's just casually saying that and like stroking her hair. But yet again, that went on for so long. Like surely someone should like let them know. I mean, that is ITV News. ITV News is like a big, big news channel in the UK. But I mean, who cares? Like it's a bit of fun. We can all laugh at it. Everyone can hear you. While covering a game in Minnesota, former NFL coach Jim Mora made a comment that was not meant for live TV. Oh my God, I've actually seen a few comments like this before where basically people think their microphone's off. I can't remember what program it was, but I think I was watching Loose Women a few years ago and like whenever I was transitioning to another program, someone obviously said something they didn't realize it could be picked up and it wasn't something good. Intending to be humorous, anchor Scott Walker made a joke that Mora was losing patience with his fellow commentators. When the joke was repeated to Mora, he laughed and told the others to pass along a pretty salty opinion of the jokester. Oh, I wonder what the opinion's gonna be and keep in mind they didn't think this was an air. I mean, I think this might be the NFL legend person they're talking about. He doesn't look that happy does he? Scott just said the later it gets Jim the less patient you get with us is that true? Who said that? Scott. Scott. <laughs> Tell Scott he's
he didn't realize that they were in a split screen on air. Oh my god, so he didn't even realize it was a split screen, so like it was literally in air. I mean, to be fair, that wasn't that bad. It was just like a joke. It wasn't even that bad. They're actually like he proper cussed them out. His colleagues on the scene tried to rewrite the comment by agreeing that Walker was indeed, quote, full of it. It took a moment for Mora to realize what was going on. Well, he's full of it. How about that? Yes, he is full of it. Yes, we're, we're, we're live. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, They're just going into damage control. I mean, that's what you have to do. Apologize and move on. I personally don't understand why you're not really allowed to swear on TV. I mean, I can understand if it's like a kid's program. Yeah, no cuss words or inappropriate stuff. But if it's like something after 7 p.m., why can't you swear? Like, it's not that deep. If a kid genuinely gets angry about someone swearing or upset, like, it's their problem. I'm sure they'll be doing drugs in, like, five years. Prime Minister insults a voter. Okay, so I've actually seen this. This is Gordon Brown. He was Prime Minister of the UK from 2007 to 2010. It was around that time he was the Prime Minister after Tony Blair. And I've seen this clip before. It's not good. A week before a difficult election, Britain's Prime Minister Gordon Brown made a particularly badly timed live TV mistake. With the election just a week week away, just about everyone is uh, calling this a campaign train wreck. He was hoping for a campaign moment that showed he was in touch with the common citizen. The woman chosen for him to talk to brought up the contentious subject of immigration. I mean, everyone's entitled to their opinion on immigration. I think this one was talking about how she doesn't support it. And then basically after that, Gordon got into the car, but he didn't realize it was still like connected to a microphone and he didn't really say the best things about her. While on camera, Brown held on to his smile and remained calm. But all these Eastern Europe Europeans what are coming in. Uh, Where are they flocking well, from? Brown did what politicians do. He practiced politeness. However, when he got into the car, he let his real opinion loose. His real opinion wasn't even that bad. I think he basically just called her a bit of a numpty. I mean, you can't, like, discriminate against people. If someone wants to move to a country, they should be able to. You know, if they're normal people like us, why shouldn't they? I mean, if I was born in another country and I wanted to move to, like, I don't know, the UK, I would really hope that they open their arms and, you know, accept me. He called the moment a disaster and and the citizen a, quote, bigoted woman. He forgot he was wearing a live microphone and he spoke his mind. That was a disaster. She just a all bigoted woman. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, to be fair, he is kind of correct, isn't he? I mean, yet again, everyone's got their opinion on immigration. Me, personally, I'm fine with it. You know, if someone wants to move to a country, why shouldn't they? We're very lucky to live in this country. Some people aren't as fortunate as us. And also, a lot of them people are very, very, very hardworking and intelligent. But there are some people out there who'll look at someone who's from a specific country and say, yeah, we don't want you here. I don't agree with that. Unfortunately, his mic was still live, and it was all picked up by the local news team. This could be one of those rare moments where a politician is maybe a little too honest. They didn't put her reaction in, but she was pretty shocked after it. I mean, I remember watching a video about it, and it was like the most talked story that week, like in the 2010s. I mean, he really did mess up there, but he did speak his mind. Either way, this is why you always have to be careful what you say, whether it's in public or just like to your friends. Because you don't know, they could be telling other people you're talking about. Put your phone away. We all know how hard it is to not check your phone when you have a minute. It's probably why cell phones are often banned in schools and workplaces. When I was in secondary school, for some reason, like in my last year, they decided to ban phones at break and lunch. I mean, I'm going to be completely honest. There's no issue of going on your phone at break and lunch. If you want to go on and play a game, you can. Like, what's the real issue? During class, I can understand that. During school time, I can understand that. But break and lunch, really? Like, what else are we supposed to do? Talk to each other? Anchor Joanna Gosling was taking a moment to scroll through her phone when the camera cut to her station a little more quickly than she expected. Yep, so this is BBC News. <laughs> like, look at her. She'll be like, oh! Hello, you're watching BBC News. I mean, I feel bad for her because she clearly didn't like suspect it. I mean, she obviously didn't see it coming, but you also do have to keep in mind she is a journalist, she's a TV presenter. I think her being in her phone isn't that bad because you know she has to keep up to date with the news. A story could have just dropped or she could have been researching something. So I guess for her, it's not that bad. Clearly, someone just off screen let her know she was on the air. Her startled reaction was great, but she jumped back in like a pro. You literally seen her eyes, like you've seen her eyes look up. You could just see like the look out of the corner of her eyes. I'm not sure what she was feeling. She was probably crapping herself she was thinking oh my god am i gonna get fired i've also noticed bbc have like a load of issues sometimes i've seen a few clips where like they just like put the camera in the wrong place or like they just like i don't know it just like goes to shit caught fixing hair yet again this is with bbc news i feel like these next few ones might be bbc news you know how i told you about a minute ago they do have a few issues i mean this is just another one proper hair care is important especially if you're a tv persona carol walker on bbc news had a few minutes to spare before her 9 a.m segment it probably seemed like 
like the perfect time to snag her handbag and take a moment to touch up her look. I mean, yet again, she's meant to be there at 9 a.m. Why did they cut to her early? This is why I do believe some of them things are done in purpose. I mean, that clip probably got posted online and went viral. Look at her. She literally just brushed her hair. She looks like she's crapping herself and she's got her wee handbag there. Honestly, bless her for her wee souls. Unfortunately, the camera team cut too early. You can see that the clock says 8.56 a.m. Walker was caught primping, but like a true professional, she didn't panic. She simply put the brush away, snagged her papers, and went straight into her report. Exactly. She just flicked her hair and just got on with it. I mean, that's professionalism. You just gotta be professional. But yet again, this is why I support, like, the traffic light system. You know how I was talking about if I had, like, a news company? Green is on air. Amber is getting ready. You know, you're gonna be on soon and red is not on air. They should have that in front of them so it means, like, they can see in case, like, something like that happens. Stop interrupting. Have you ever tried to explain something to someone and they keep interrupting to ask questions? This is why I can be an interviewer because I'm telling you right now, I would interrupt people. That's, like, a real issue of mine. For some reason, I talk a lot and I need to shut up. Well, weatherman Chad Myers had this moment during a live segment on Hurricane Katrina. Anchor Carol Costello kept interrupting to ask for clarification. Myers finally just couldn't take it anymore. I mean, to be honest, if that were me, I'd just take the earplug out. Yet again, I can understand why she's asking so many questions because, you know, it is the weather. You want to know the answer. But for the love of God, just shut up. He lost his cool and snapped, let me talk, Carol. Okay, that so is lower Chad, pressure. Chad, but Chad, Camille, Chad. But Cam let me Trans talk, Carol. Translate that for us. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Well, if you would let me talk. That is so country Texas, isn't it? Like, that's such a Texas accent. Come on, just let me talk. That's not an American accent. I don't know what that was. The spat continued for another moment as Myers threw his papers on the floor in frustration. Later, the two tried to cover it up by saying they were just having some fun. Oh, yeah, totally. They were just having some fun. AKA, they were getting screamed at by the producer and they were told to pretend it was, like, all, like, made up. Biden drops a bomb. Oh, God, Biden actually looks kind of alive in this screenshot, doesn't he? Oh, this was him back when, you know, he could actually form a sentence. While running for president, Joe Biden described himself as a gaff machine. He's made many unintentional mistakes live on air, and a few have included curse words. I mean, something about him is just so funny to me. I've seen, like, quite a few clips where, like, he just is talking and then, like, completely drifts off. I mean, it's quite scary that someone that old is, you know, running the most powerful country in the world. This is why I personally think anyone over the age of 70 shouldn't have loads of power. You know, because think if it's 70, like, that's when people, you know, start to drop dead. I do believe politics need to get slightly younger people in because, you know, the world isn't the way it was, like, 50 years ago. That's a great asset. More inflation. What a stupid son. Look at him, he's got proper attitude. I love how he just says that looking around. He's probably looking out for his blimmin' care. One of the funniest took place while he was vice president. President Obama was about to sign his health care bill into law. An ecstatic vice president Biden leaned in close to sum up the moment with some very colorful language. Okay, let's see what Biden's got to say. Do you reckon Biden's been plotting to run for president for like all this time? I mean, yet again, like he's quite old, isn't he? When was Joe Biden born? Okay, so he was born in 1942. And if we look right here, here at this guy. He died in 1945. So the current president of the United States was alive when Hitler was alive. Like he's that old. Joe Biden quietly dropped the F-bomb in the president's ear. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that's, like, not bad. Like, we've seen a lot worse recently. There was a thing where it was, like, a word to describe the United States. I think, like, I'm sorry, but what is going on? Like, I can't. That country is so amusing to me. I love it. Snap out of it. This is my type of reaction. Like, I'm telling you right now, if I was live on TV and I realized I was on air and, like, I wasn't ready, I'd be like that. Ugh. It's kind of like whenever someone jumps out and, like, startles you. It's freaky, isn't it? Daydreaming at your desk is not that unusual. We've all had a spacey moment or two while we're supposed to be working. It's the moment when a coworker snaps you out of it, that's really unsettling. Well, imagine how startled Natasha Exelby was to be caught daydreaming on live TV. You don't have to imagine because her facial expression tells it all. After a pre-recorded episode finish, the camera cut back to Exelby. ABC News, Mount Sylvia. <gasps> Now to sport with. That is just me. Like, that is totally me. I mean, I daydream all the time. It's actually really bad. I suffer with procrastination and daydreaming. Like, I'm not joking. I will set goals out to do during the day and, like, I'll just not do them. Unfortunately, she'd let her mind wander while idly fiddling with her pen. When this mistake cost the casual contributor her on air shifts, viewers started a petition to reinstate her. Wait, so she got fired for that? Now, I'm sorry. That's way too far. Why is she getting fired for that? Big whip, she daydreamed and freaked out for a split second. 
hashtag that the show went on. It just goes to show that everyone loves a moment when someone is just being human. Afterward, XLB was relieved of her on-air role, but the journalist found the humor in the viral moment, tweeting, Thank you all for your generous support. Not my finest hour. Myself and my mesmerizing pen honorably salute you. I mean, I really hope she didn't give her. Like, it really wasn't that deep, was it? Like, it literally lasted a split second. I'm telling you, these corporations don't care about their employees. A quick cut. And who have we got again? Our good old friends, BBC News. Every once in a while, we get a peek into what happens off screen of live news shows. Other man Thomas Schaffernacker would have preferred this moment had never made it to at home screens. Anchor Simon McCoy teased his co worker by declaring that the weather report would be, of course, highly detailed and 100% accurate. Now we'll have the weather forecast in a minute, and of course, it'll be 100% accurate and provide all the detail you could possibly want. The good natured sarcasm seemed to hit a little too close to home this time. I'm sorry, but that is just me. Like, that's me whenever I accidentally, like, say something I'm not meant to. Are you ever, like, around someone, like, you're meant to behave yourself around? It could be, like, a grandparent or, like, your friend's parents, and, like, you accidentally, like, let out a swear word. That is me. Like, you just freak out because like you are so used to saying it around like their child but, like not them when the camera cut over more quickly than expected Schaffernacker's one-fingered salute was clearly caught on camera the panic upon his face is clear and it looks like he tried to change the gesture to a chin scratch the anchors smothered laughs and joked Every now and then, there's always one mistake. I mean, I hope he didn't get fired. Like, that's a funny joke. We can all laugh at that. I mean, it happens to all of us. We've done something and then, like, freak out and regret it. Who cares? Well, anyways, guys, that's where we're going to leave that video there. That is some of the funniest moments caught on live TV. If I were a TV presenter, I probably would get fired within the first day because I'd do something like they did. If you are a new person, subscribe, and just I'll see you all in my next video.